It's giving Fulani princess. It's giving new hair. Who's this? It's giving fiance. Ah! Who's the fiance? I'm the fiance. Who's the fiance? I'm the fiance. Bo, 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 bo. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Miracolette here. How you doing? So. This is the video that I've been waiting for, you've probably been waiting for. Boy, do I have a story to tell you guys. We literally have a wedding to freaking fly! In case you're living under a rock and you're looking at me and wondering what the hell I'm talking about, Ilo, my, fian my now fiancé and boyfriend of three plus years, proposed, popped the question on my birthday. And this video is basically a story time on how everything happened, what led up to that moment and that moment in itself and just just everything, okay? So let's start at the beginning. So it was early April, Ilo and I were just chilling at home and he came to ask me what I wanted to do for my birthday. And I was like, I don't know. And he was like, okay, but if you were to have a birthday party, who and who would you like to be at the party? Just to humor him, I made a list of like my close friends. It was a whole joke. We made like, we wrote like five names and we were done. And he just sort of laughed at me that, oh, all your friends, all your close friends, six, I mean, maybe five or six. And he was like, okay, you know what? Add acquaintances, add people that, you know, are not necessarily your close friends just add acquaintances or miscellaneous yeah we call them miscellaneous so i started calling names of people that were not necessarily my close friends but i knew them like we knew each other were cool so at the end of the day i think we came up with about 20 to 25 names and then he was like okay so if you were gonna do a birthday party we could comfortably invite these 25 people. All this while I thought it was a joke. Like I was like just humoring him, making conversation. Somehow, somehow we ended up calling the birthday party that Ilo was going to throw for me, the Royal Ball. And I was just laughing like, oh my gosh, my MC's Royal Ball, my birthday, 25 people, blah, 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 blah. That conversation ended and we carried on with our day. And I, I would just randomly remember the conversation and I think I went to meet him and I was like, wait, are you actually serious about throwing me a party. I feel like really going to invite all these people. He's like, yeah, what makes you think I haven't even already created a group chat? Next day comes, I still don't believe it. I'm like, I ask him again, like, are you really throwing me a royal ball? Okay, what am I going to wear for this royal ball? He's like, don't worry about it. Just leave everything to me. Don't worry your head, it's sorted. I think it was like five days after we had that conversation that it hits me that we are, we might actually be having a party. And if I'm going to be the birthday princess at my royal ball, my body needs to be banging. <laughs> so I went back to the gym. Couple of days roll by, mid middle of April, I'll randomly just ask him again, babe, am I, am I still having a royal ball? He's like, yeah. Fast forward to say a week to my birthday. We'll come back from somewhere. I went back inside. I went inside. He didn't come in with me. So I think I came down to like check on him or something. Then I see like a DHL bus parked outside the house and he was sorting out the packages. So I remember just going to meet him like, did you order something? And he's like, no, 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 that his mom ordered something and had it delivered to our house. And I was like, oh, okay, what is it? And he was like, babe, it's for my mom. Like, and I was just looking at him like, okay what's the big deal if it's for your mom what is it <laughs> if it's for your mom then what is it and i remember he was just very like leave me alone like none of your business mind your business type thing so i was like you know what i'm fine whatever i left him and i went upstairs mark that's mark it okay the second um incident i think this time it was three or four days to my birthday my security comes knocks on my door delivers another dhl package to me and is like oh you have a delivery so i collect the package i thank him whatever and then i'm literally about to tear open this package and i was like wait i didn't order anything i don't have any business with dhl so i check the tag to make sure that it's the right person the security brought it to so i check the tag and i see that it was ilo's name 
on the package I'm not gonna lie I'm super nosy so my first instinct was to just open it and see what was inside but I was just like you know what let me call him first let him know that he has a package so I call him babe DHL brought a package for you you have a delivery and he was like don't open it don't open it do not open it babe I'm serious so I was like but I want to see what's in it like no don't open it just take it to the other room drop it there don't open it so I take it to the other room I went to drop it for him and just went about my day right mark that story as well fast forward to my birthday eve the 28th of april i had planned to do all my birthday prep on the 28th of april so that everything is fresh for the royal ball okay we are having a royal ball best believe that every single day until the 28th of april i would randomly ask babe how far are we still having the royal ball he'll be like yeah he had even told me what color of nails he wanted me to have on and he told me he wanted me to have on red nails so that it matches my dress because he got me a red dress i was like oh, okay nice i love red red looks fantastic on me so i was very happy i thought okay i'm gonna be wearing a red dress for my royal ball but then i wanted to know what shade of red it was so he had zoomed in the dress and sent me like a screenshot of the color and I used the color to do my nails, okay? I wanted to have to do like a ponytail. I also wanted to do a birthday shoot because it was my golden birthday, I wanted to do it with the golden hour. Anyway, long story short, I wasn't able to do my birthday shoot that day because my nails took too long. I finished doing my nails around like past seven that day so at that time the sun already went down couldn't do the golden hour shoot i was so pissed i remember coming home from the nail salon just like upset i was crying because he, <laughs> one thing you guys probably don't know about me is i'm a big 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 cry baby if something isn't going my way i'm going to cry i didn't do my shoot my nails are ugly i hate my hair like i was just complaining about everything but yeah ilo was there to console me just told me that you know what it's fine you can go do your shoots in the morning tomorrow so i called bolu um that night and i was like i want to do a little birthday shoot just to post on my birthday um at the beach would do you mind coming in the morning so we could go take pictures and she was like yeah sure let's let's do it so the morning comes i put on my white slip dress did very very light makeup and drove to pick up bolu so that we could go do our birthday shoot we got to the beach beautiful skies nobody was at the beach yet we took the pictures beautiful I edited them in the car, posted them, happy birthday to me, golden year, everything. People started wishing me happy birthday. All was well with the world. At first, I was going to do my my makeup myself, but I was like, you know what? If it's going to be a birthday party, I don't want to look basic. I want to look glam. Like, I want to look like the birthday princess, basically. 1 p.m., I went for my, my makeup appointment. Got to my friend Charity's makeup studio, Did had my makeup done, it was fun. When I was done, I called, Ilo called and was like, are you done? And I was like, yeah, he's like, okay, don't worry. Just chill for like 30 minutes. I'll let you know when you can come home, okay? I was like, okay, I guess the surprises have started. I could finally see everything. Soon as he called me to start coming, I left and went home. I get home, he started filming me from the door. Um, as soon as I get to the, I don't even know if I should include this part or not, but if we're being completely honest, full disclosure, First person I see is my girl, Oshua. So as with every friendship, Oshua and I had a little falling out early this year and we hadn't really been in talking terms for a minute. So as soon as I got home and I saw her, I literally screamed and jumped on her because I had missed her so much. Um, and I mean, I'm not even, ashamed to say that the cause of the falling out was because of me like i did something very stupid and even though i'd apologized to her she still needed time to process everything and she just we just sort of gave each other space and i respected that so when i opened my door and i saw that she was in my house and she had come for my birthday i literally was so happy like hugged her we were, i was so happy to see her 
I, I mean, her being in my house meant that she had forgiven me. So I was like, yes. <laughs> After we hugged and everything, I went into the living room and then I saw on the chair red roses on top of a box. And then as soon as I lifted up the flowers, I saw a familiar box. <laughs> It was a house of CB box. So here's the thing. I have like a list of like designers that I would love to wear. Yeah, I've always said it that oh, when I have money, I can't wait to buy myself a house of CB dress, a Kai dress, and Rayama. So house of CB does these beautiful structured flowy dresses so immaculately. So I've always said to myself, I can't wait to own my first house of CB dress. So when I picked up the, the flowers and I saw the house of CB uh, packaging i literally lost my shit so i opened it and yes indeed it was a beautiful flowy red dress with matching gloves guys you remember that first dhl i told you had come to my gate that ilo told me was his mom's package it was my house of cb dress <laughs> do you know they had delivered the dress that day and i was this close this close to seeing it i was this close to ruining the surprise and thank god i just minded my business that day and went back inside i had already bought red shoes with my red nails and my nude lipstick because I, I didn't want everything to be too red so i had on a nude lipstick everything was going to be perfect with my red roses oh the birthday princess <laughs> my royal ball good day i was so happy like okay let's go so when we brought out the dress from the packaging, it was a bit rumpled. Ilo was very much like, ah, guys, we have to go. We're late, we're late, we're late. So he quickly helps me iron it. And then it doesn't fit. This dress would not zip up. It was too small. When I tell you I was, whew, ooh, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even have words to describe how I felt. Like I was so disappointed just because I know how long Ilo had kept this surprise from me and how much money had gone into buying this dress and just the stress of shipping it down to Nigeria, everything just for it not to fit. I had taken off the white dress that I used to go take pictures early in the morning. It was literally just bunched up somewhere on the chair or something. And then Ilo was like, babe, wear the white dress. I was like, huh? No, I already wore the dress. It's already on the. It's already on Instagram. People already like already used to take pictures. No, I can't wear this simple slip dress for my royal ball. Come on, I'm going to look like a guest, not the celebrant. So, at first, I didn't want to wear the white dress. I was like, okay, how about I order a dress from Styling Lagos? They can do same day delivery or something. And he's like, babe, no time, no time. We have to leave right now. Now, 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 now. We need to leave right now. So I was just like, you know what, you know what, nothing is going to ruin my day. I'm going to wear the white dress, use the red gloves, I wore my red shoes, changed my nude lipstick to red lipstick, and it worked. It was very, very nice. Like, it just looks like I had transformed my daytime dress to a nighttime dress. Like, it just went from drab to fab. So we got in the car, Ido started driving. Ido started driving like, I mean, Ido normally drives like a formula one driver but this particular day he was on steroids he was literally swerving and driving and maneuvering and just this whole time my heart was in my mouth like where are we even going like where are we even driving to i just kept asking him and guys bear in mind this whole time the clouds were dark it looks like it was going to rain cats and dogs and i was like babe it's raining he's like it's not raining i'm like what is but it's drizzling, okay, 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 oh, it's not raining, okay. I'm sat in the front seat, Oshwa is sat at the back seat, we're just like, where are we going, where are we going, where are we going? Long story short, we pull up in front of Radisson Blue, which is so funny because that's where I am right now, filming this video. Anyway, we'll get to that in a bit. Um, Yeah, we pull up at Radisson Blue, I'm like, okay, so I guess the ball is happening at Radisson. We park, come to the reception, proceed towards the jetty. I'm like, wait, is he a boat cruise? <laughs> Bro, do you know how many things went through my head in that moment? He then calls someone and is like, okay, we're here. The guy comes, hey takes us to a boat. We get on the boat, the boat starts, and we 
start going to God knows where. I'm on this boat. I'm just very confused. Where are we going? Is it Ilashe? Is it Lighthouse? Is it Inogbe? And bear in mind, during all of this, it was still drizzling. I had a full face of makeup, complete with like stones and like shiny, shiny on my eyes and red lipstick. It's like ponytail gel with my flower and my gloves and my heels and my dress on top of a boat with my eyelashes just going in the in the wind. Anyway, we're going. Osh is with me the whole time. She is such a sweetheart. She made videos of us walking into the boat. Five minutes into the boat ride, the driver says the engine isn't picking up. So he has to call another boat to come pick us up in the middle of the water. <laughs> in the middle of the ocean, inside rain. She like, I'm in ja. Where are we going in this rain? If I knew it was going to, I would have done my makeup by myself. I would have not done all this full beat. I would have not done packing, packing gel. So many things were just going through my head at the same time. Like, why is it today of all days? Why is this boat stopping in the middle of the water? Anyway, long story short, the new boat comes to pick us up. We got on this boat and we continued our journey to god knows where when i tell you this boat was flying as this boat was speeding um and it was drizzling i just looked at Ilo literally on the other side of the boat and i could just see him mouthing words like just seeing him sat across from me in that boat praying literally my guy was speaking in tongues for us to just get there safely because you guys know like you know that the water level goes up when it's raining i just stopped worrying about all the trivial things that i was worrying about my makeup my hair my like look at this man in this moment just praying that what he's doing for me goes well and i just remember reaching out to him and just holding his hands and just telling him that i'm fine like i'm okay you know osh was there as well she just kept telling me like i look good your makeup is still intact like your hair is fine don't worry 15 minutes after or 15 to 20 minutes we get to ilashe so i was like oh okay it's a beach party hey hey you know me i love the beach now so let's go do you know how like when you get to ilashe you have to take a a car or a jeep to the location so when i got to the bridge that you would cross to get to the jeep i saw a videographer and a photographer wow he went all out but then my spidey senses started tingling like ah, ah. what if he proposed ah, jesus i was like what if he doesn't because one thing about me, I don't know if I ever told you guys this, but I always try not to put my mind too much in things so that I don't end up getting disappointed. So when I thought about it, I just immediately dismissed it from my head because I was like, if you dwell on it and it doesn't happen, how heartbreaking would it be if you think it's a proposal, you get there and it's not. So girl, just take your mind away from it. It's a rare book let's have a real ball so we got to the jeep we entered the jeep and drove to the beach house <laughs> oh my god what a day what a day but somehow somehow we are at Ilashe Sunday yes. <laughs> thank you baby are you good do I look good? Gorgeous, baby. You, you do mysterious this thing and bring to a place and she will know it exactly. <laughs> we are exactly, I know where we are. <laughs> we got to the entrance of this beach house. Ilo was stood beside me as he was stood beside me. My raggedy ass ponytail that I had gotten from this raggedy ass place. If not that I'm a child of God. I want to call out the person that sold this raggedy ass ponytail to me so that you guys will not buy it. I don't want to spoil her business. But DM Misha if you want to know the name of the hair vendor so you, ne you don't fall victim, okay? DM me. I'll tell you who it is. I was standing at the entrance of this beach house. I just said, let me even try and straighten the ponytail you know how synthetic is now if you as i put my hand inside like this 
The thing was so, so strong, the ponytail came off. Ilo would later tell me that he was so grateful for that distraction because it was while I was trying to fix my ponytail that he was able to quickly get the ring from Osh because the whole time he gave the ring to Osh to keep safely in her bag. It was literally while I was trying to fix my ponytail when I turned my back to them that Osh and Ilo literally did the exchanging and she gave him the ring and he ran inside so you know as she gave him the ring she quickly you know helped me adjust my ponytail when i turned back ilo was no longer there and then after a while the, vi the videographer signals to me that i should start walking in so i start walking in ready to see my friends it's so weird because that morning when i went to take pictures bolu had asked me what are you doing for your birthday i was just looking at that like this the you think i don't know that you are coming for my surprise birthday party later. You know, obviously, Ilo must have told her it's a surprise. So she was just <laughs> obviously trying to do uh, AFBC and nominated actress for me now. Tell me, what are you doing for your birthday? I'm like, oh. So me too, I gave her my own award-winning performance back and told her that, ah, I don't know, Ilo is the one planning it to, let's see how it goes. Anyway, let's circle back. So I'm walking in, I'm like, okay, I'm sure my friends are gonna be here. I wonder who Ilo invited and who is not invited. I wonder if all the 25 people on the list made it. So much is going through my head in this moment. I'm thinking about so many things. Is this a beach body? Who's here? Who is not? Are his friends here? Is it just my friends? Also in my head as well, is this a proposal? Like so many things were happening in my head at once. So I remember entering into the, into the, beach house i see the pool it's empty nobody nothing is happening and then i walk forward a little bit and then i i see johnny drill there's this song that ilo and i love so much it's called count on you by johnny drill johnny himself is singing this song at the top of his voice you guys like i hear his voice i see him singing at the end i think that was when i just knew that wait wait a minute Johnny Drill. No friends. It's is it is it if you open my heart you find <laughs> your soul. Oh my man, Nobody <laughs> he said I wasn't going to cry. <laughs> I know I can count on The most beautiful day for real. Every single speech that I gave myself about not crying in that moment, out the window. I was... <sighs> That's how I cry <laughs> when like I'm really happy about something I and mean, when I'm really sad about something. He gave the most beautiful speech and then he called me my full government name plus the name that he gave me. Mary Colette Obiagiri, Timmy Tokwe, Stephanie, Ehime, Namka. From the first time we met till this moment, my life has become better. Music like Johnny's music has so much value. It means a lot. You have helped me transform myself. I've become better as a man. I've become better as a person. And then told me, I love you and I want you to spend forever with me. So baby, please, would you marry me? <laughs> and I said, babe, of course I will marry you. I'll spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs> baby, this is day one. <laughs> Even though in that moment, I knew that my friends were there, I had forgotten about them. I was when I when I heard she said yes, I was like, ah, you guys are here too. That's true. Oh my gosh, yes, I said yes. Oh my god, you guys! Congratulations, congratulations. Hey guys. <laughs> Thank you. 
it was just perfect when my friends came out they came they hugged me they made videos of the ring of me it was beautiful and then we all went upstairs because obviously my makeup was in shambles and i needed to take pictures so we all went upstairs thankfully bolu is a makeup artist moni had brought makeup in her purse to do for the wedding she was going to later so you know moni gave me her concealer um bolu helped me use her brush they had brought me back to life in this life have good friends everybody was just so gassed so happy we went back down took pictures, did like a round of pictures, me and Elo, me and Elo and his friends, me and Elo with all our friends, my friends, just us, just the two of us. I couldn't stop staring at my ring because it was just so beautiful. Like it was glistening, you guys. Literally my dream ring, like I always told him I wanted a teardrop. Is it teardrop or pearl, pearl, pearl cut? diamonds if you remember i told you that my security guy delivered a dhl package to me guys it was my ring guys imagine if i had opened it imagine well that's <laughs> imagine if i had opened it because uh, the because the ring was in the middle of the memory box Oh my goodness. So you could open it, you would have seen the memory box going through everything before opening the ring and then you would have seen we were married. And with the way DHL, DHL packages work, you can't open it and seal it back. So it's not a thing where I can open it and be like, yeah. pretend like I didn't see it and seal it back or anything. Once you've opened, once you tear it open, it's open. <laughs> he had made this memory box that had all um, like our pictures and he wrote the cutest things in there cutest things about me like pictures as far back as when we started dating to like all our memories together my from my last birthday us at the beach I actually took his time to create this box he told the lady that made the ring the company the lady that attended to him from the company he got the ring helped him make this memory box as well in the middle of the box it said will you marry me so basically he proposed to me again with the box and um it was the most thoughtful thing it, it literally had our friends bawling like our friends were just watching it watching it and they were just crying it was the most beautiful thing it was the most beautiful thing like the ring is also engraved you guys like it literally says mare bear which is like his name for me maybe it was written in the stars um, by the way, <laughs> it has me on it. It does! Oh, oh, you guys! Oh, <laughs> that is the <it's> perfect! <laughs> 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 Just take that off. Okay! Oh my god! You have to read the cards. Because you make me happy and I keep you forever and always. Oh. And finally. I love you. I love you. Viviana. <laughs> oh my god. Will you marry me? Who's on my We proposed, we popped the question. Shouts to Shiny Rock. Shouts to Jessica Johnston of South Africa of Shiny Rock. She is amazing. Shouts to everybody that came through. You can see everybody. You can see everybody like, yo, this has been in the works for a minute. And I'm just really happy that we finally done it. And she said yes. I mean, she wasn't going to say no, but you know, just. <laughs> I just got engaged. Oh my God. I am so excited. Ilo literally pulled it off so fantastically i had no idea i mean i i feel like i had a clue but like this my friends the ring the flowers johnny drew oh my god like the waterworks started and i saw johnny drew right there singing guys like if he's singing at my engagement what's gonna happen at the wedding <laughs> ah, but yeah guys i i was just so freaking happy i was happy anyway we packed everything got on the boat and we headed home we got to the jetty the jetty at radisson we all came down turns out my baby my thoughtful fiance had booked a like a birthday dinner we had 
some food we had a very very good buffet at the restaurant in radisson blue surrounded by all our friends all our loved ones <laughs> oh are we vlogging yeah we are uh, we and Eli are friends again yeah. hi everyone hi so on behalf of myself and my wife i just want to make you like that's all I just want. I want to take care of you. I want to take care of your mom. Like I want to give you a home. I want to do everything I can to ensure that you never stop smiling. And I love you. And thank you for deciding to marry. Of course, as opposed to what? Love me, girl. Happy birthday to you. What a story, right? What a story time. It's the best story ever. I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course you enjoyed this video. How can you not enjoy it? Even me that is telling itself is like I know that it's story. So even Elo, Elo has been telling me, Elo has always been laughing here since. My fiance has always been laughing here since. <laughs> it's going to take some getting used to, I can't even lie. When I came to meet you at the spa. Oh, you were like, oh, I wanna, I wanna see my. All I kept saying was, oh, my fiance is getting. My fiance is getting a facial. Oh, that's so cute. Cause I mean, you're not my boyfriend anymore, and I'm not your girlfriend anymore. Like you are. Oh, like it would be disrespectful to say my boyfriend. Cause what the hell? You're not my boyfriend anymore. <laughs> Anyway guys, that's the update. Ilo and MC are getting married. Um, Ilo proposed, I said yes. Yay, we have a whole wedding to plan. This is the first of what is going to be a wedding series. Ilo and I will be answering some of your questions. We'll do a Q&A video which is going to come after this one. So we will be asking, answering, answering all your questions, everything that we can answer sha <laughs> um and yes guys let me know if you like this video you know the deal make sure to give it a very big fat thick juicy thumbs up subscribe if you aren't subscribed already leave a comment in the comment section below you know i absolutely love to see your thoughts i'll see you guys in my next video bye With you right next to me, we can take over the world, we can conquer the world. I'm sorry about what this looks like. Care. It should have looked better, but I, I love you and I want you to spend forever with me.